Do 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 La Marita Ville. You put Bud Light in the blender. Put some ice in the blender. Put some juice in the blender. It's La Marita Ville. Baby, what you doing over here? I'm sleeping. Or I would be if somebody wasn't making such a goddamn bracket. Oh, we just go back to bed. Look, I'm just trying to blend her out. I'll be done in just a second. Me and Carthy can go start that corn dog stand. Looking for my lost sugar and salt. You're gonna be looking for a new place to live if you don't quiet down. All right, calm down now. I'm, I'm leaving. I'll talk to you later. Dress up real nice and show your sugar and spice Or Sunday won't be coming round for you She can't be seen in that dress no more The good Lord doused her in gasoline She drank all the jack up and she ain't coming back She said Sunday ain't coming round for me Getting woke up by my boyfriend, Sarah named the blender with off-key Jimmy Buffett should have been my first clue that this day was not going to end up on my top ten list. Hello? Sarah? My big sister, Portia Mustang Taylor. Sarah! A know-it-all, goody-two-shoes, high-and-mighty uppity bitch. What the hell, Sarah? Did you pass out again? She was always sticking her nose into my life, telling me what I'm doing wrong. Number one on her list being how I'm still dating Harry Shumway. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, Harry's dumb as a stump, but it ain't like Portia's husband's no prize. Just cause she married somebody whose daddy's got a little bit of money don't mean his shit smells any different than mine. Now, Harry may like to go out and get a little drunk on Friday nights, but unlike Sammy, he ain't wasting no $40 on a goddamn bottle of wine. Portia, what is so important that you have to call me at this hour? It's 2 p.m. Since when is taking a nap a federal fucking offense? Look, I didn't call to argue with you. Sammy's out of town, and I thought it would be fun to pick you up and go out to dinner. Just us girls. I got plans. Okay, well, another night then? I got plans every night. Fine, but I guess I may as well tell you I sold that box of CDs you gave me, so I've got some cash for you. Now Portia was dangling the bait. How much cash you talking? Almost $70. That Chattahoochee single got a lot of bids. And anyway, I need to get that dress back from you because I'm gonna wanna list it in my shop soon. $70 ain't no chump change. Portia done reeled me in, and I had no choice but to put up with my sister to get my cash. I don't know what dress you're even talking about. Remember that green ball gown? You wanted it last Christmas? I didn't remember no green ball gown, which meant one of two equally likely things. Either Porsche's full of shit, or that bitch Tiffy stole it. I guess if you ain't got nothing better to do, you can come over here, but I ain't taking no mail with you. Hi. <laughs> I know it. Bitch, did you steal my dress? Don't you lie to me. Farah, baby ears. <sighs> what the hell dress are you talking about? Portia, that fucking busybody is on her way down here to collect some ball gowns. Now, I ain't got a ball gown, but given your history with balls, that means you probably got it. Are, are you talking about that dress? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I had pretty much run the train on that particular ball gown. Why is my face crossed out? Well, 
We weren't talking for a while. So you want to help me work on who to invite for Dick Spell's birthday party? I was thinking we would have a Barbie thing. Bitch, I do not give a shit about some boring baby party. I got to find Harry, find out if he knows where the dress is. Come <laughs> get some, fool. We need to find out what. Harry, come help me. You miss me, girl? Hey, you want it so bad, just wait till I beat Carthy's ass. I'll be over there to give it to you, kid. What you wish, fool? How about since I'm fixing to kick your ass, I come in there and help you with her ass? Carthy, I'd rather lick a turd. This is not a booty call. I am looking for my dress. Carthur Graham is a sick fuck who has been known to cultivate a collection of women's panties. It's never a bad idea to check under his bed when an item of your clothing goes missing. Say, baby, what dress is it you're talking about exactly? Hey, you ain't got to lie. You know you want some of this. Fed through a meat grinder. <laughs> My green dress, the one I'm wearing in our Christmas picture. You clearly working on that corn dog stand too hard to remember. I remember it was like kind of sexy, a little bit fancy. I remember that dress. that the damage done on that dress was more of the permanent variety. And with Portia gunning for me, I had to think fast. Say, baby, since you're here, you got any of that lime shit left over? Hell yeah, margarita, senorita. Ow! I don't have a goddamn clue what y'all are talking about. You know, baby, last St. Patty's Day, we got that green shit, we put it in the Bud Light. Yeah, we couldn't really taste it in the beer, so he's gonna put it in this tequila. Are you talking about green food coloring? Cause that don't have a taste, idiots. Now baby, don't be stupid. You know they put that on the outside of green M&Ms to make them taste like lime. Harry, either you smoke so much weed you done burned your taste buds off, or you really are as sharp as a soggy American cheese fry. Now this isn't helping me find my dress. Baby, you gave your goddamn dress away a long time ago. What do you mean gave it away? I don't know, you said it was too fucked up, gave it to the Goodwill. Shit, I gotta go, y'all. I never will understand that one. There wasn't no way nobody was gonna wanna buy that tore up rag. I bet it was still hanging on the rack. I had to get a hold of it before Portia called up with me so I could fix it. Hey, Farah, hop in. I don't mind walking. I thought I had come up with a good way to get this problem taken care of quick, but Portia was dogging me like a day old burrito fart. I might think you were trying to avoid me if I didn't know how much you wanted this. Fine, but you got to take me to Goodwill first. You can wait right here. I just need to run in. I won't be long. All right, but I made dinner plans when you said you were busy, so I can't wait around for long. I thought about making a run for it out the back of the store, but I knew that only by me a few minutes. Daddy trained us both to be quick as weasels. Then the answer came to me in a cloud of lace and pearls. that called for such an urgent goodwill run. Mind your own damn business. It's a little weird, even for you. Why you gotta be such a meddlesome bitch? Now get the hell out of here. I don't wanna be seen shopping at a fucking thrift store. You want something? 
Hot fries? Uh, actually, I need to get going. I'm meeting Misty for tapas. Did you happen to find that dress? Uh, just a minute. I got to pee real bad. Okay. You don't actually eat this shit, do you? Now, the plumbing in the single wide wasn't the best, so me and Harry usually saved our shower water for flushing the toilet. From there, it was gonna be easy as dying Easter eggs at Sunday school. Vera, when's the last time you went to the doctor? You know, your lifestyle is not the healthiest. Ooh, Farrah, there is puke on this. Have you been sick? You're not knocked up, are you? Oh, Jesus Lord. Oh my God, I heard that. That sounded like a box. Are you taking a pregnancy test? Portia, no, you dumbass motherfucker. Leave me alone. Jesus. Fair, are you okay in there? I'm fine. Give me a goddamn minute. I'm coming in. I can't let you go through this alone. No, Portia. Oh, my God. It's not positive, is it? I can't bring myself to love a shumway bastard. Portia. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Portia. You don't got to marry him. Even if it's positive, you do not have to marry him. Portia. Oh, honey. I think we better just take you down to the clinic. Harry's genes plus fetal alcohol syndrome is something that no one's going to want to deal with. Will you shut up, you nosy shrew? I ain't pregnant. Moreover, till Harry can buy me a big-ass fucking diamond, ain't no member of the Shumway clan about to tie this fucking knot. Oh. So, you ain't taking a pregnancy test. It's food coloring. Not a pregnancy test. And it don't taste like limes. And you ain't trying on a wedding dress. Well, seeing how it's in the sink, I believe it's safe for me to say I am not trying it on. Then what the hell are you doing? Oh, if you would shut up and quit flipping out, I'd tell you. I lost your dress. Don't know what happened to it, so I'm trying to fix you up a new one. Well... I know where my dress is. Huh? At least, I think this is my dress. Jesus Christ, Farrah, what happened to it? I'm sorry I ruined your dress. I wasn't thinking. Well, it's not that bad, actually. You ain't mad. A little spot cleaning, a quick hemming. I think I can still make a buck on this. All right, then. How about you kick me a finder's fee when you sell that thing? Don't push it. My sister may be nosy as shit and an expert on ruining my plans, but at the end of the day, I reckon she's just trying to take care of me. It ain't the worst thing in the world to have your family looking after you. Hell yeah, it's Rita time! Woo! 